For our Dear John segment, this is where you ask the questions, he finds the answers. John K. Brent here with more on the Fukushima fallout. That's right, and uh, I've been doing some more research into this. Uh, one of our viewers was concerned about finding an independent scientist because to cut through all the government clutter that there seems sure. to be some bloggers out there think that there is a government cover-up. So let's get to the question. Gerilyn emailed me and stated, it would be great if you could interview Ken Bessler. At least he's not paid for by the government. And that is true. Dr. Ken Bessler is a leading independent oceanographer and scientist on ocean radiation. His funding comes from a philanthropic organization that funds the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in Massachusetts. Now, over the last three years, Bessler has traveled to Fukushima, has done extensive testing on ocean water in the region, and this is part one of my interview. Should those of us here on the central coast of California be concerned with what you found? Well, we've been going to Japan ever since the accident happened, shortly after in June of 2011. And since then, you know, we've been saying that it is of concern, the radiation levels in particular near Japan. By the time it reaches our coast, whether it's in the fish or in the waters, we're going to see vastly lower levels of the radionuclides on our coast. How long does it take to go from there to here? It's about two and a half years. Has there been a significant event at the power plant where radioactive water has been released uh, in the last three weeks? Of course, of the summer, there have been a couple of uh, discrete accidents. What we're seeing and expecting to be able to detect off the west coast of North America would be from the 2011, the peak of the accident. Uh, we have cesium, I think people don't realize, in the Pacific Ocean right now along our west coast because of the testing in the 1960s. And so scientifically, the question is, how quickly will that go up? How high will it go up? The predictions are rather low and not of direct concern, but no one makes measurements of these isotopes along that coast. And therefore, you know, it's easy to be alarmed about something you're not measuring and not looking for. So fast forward to 6 p.m. where Bessler will cut through the fear mongers and address fallout concerns in fisheries here on Central Coast waters. Mark and Jazz, back to you.